My interest in Prometheus comes out of that interest in how art and text, how appearance and reality relate. I'm interested in thinking about what the audience in the theatre in Athens on that day in the 5th century when the Prometheus Band was first put on, what that audience expected to see, what they made of what they saw. Like most Greek tragedies, this is not a tragedy whose story would have been unknown to the audience as they entered the theatre. They knew about Prometheus. Prometheus featured large in two of the most important early poems, the poems of Hesiod called The Theogony and The Works and Days. So how does the presentation of Prometheus in the Prometheus band differ from the presentation by Hesiod? What would the audience have thought of what they were seeing? What would they have noticed that was strange? What would they have made of the differences? Once we have put Prometheus back into the story of Greek religion and put the play back into its festival, which is a religious event, we come to see that the play isn't just about political power. It's not just about the way in which even the gods act like petty tyrants. It's actually also about the way in which knowledge is crucial to all sorts of power relations, including the relations between men and gods. We have to read this text in its much wider context if we're to understand the true force that it had in the 5th century in classical Athens. <laughs>